Thank you. The Honorable Mishra. Thank you, House Chair. The economic diplomacy program should bring in foreign direct investment more than ever before. Even though South African taxpayers are under huge financial pressure as a result of high unemployment in our country, they are nevertheless still required to fund diplomatic missions to over 100 countries. My question, Deputy Minister, is whether all the diplomatic missions we have abroad have successful economic diplomacy programs that have resulted in bringing foreign direct investments that have grown our economy? And if not, what value for money does our country get from diplomatic missions that are just spending money with no tangible returns in the form of much needed jobs? Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable the Deputy Minister. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Um, uh, to the honorable member, all our missions and our ambassadors and high commissioners, they have signed a performance agreement and economic growth is part of their performance agreement. And as such, they've got a responsibility, all of them, to make sure that they put means in place to make sure that they interact with business people in the countries of their deployment and make sure that people get interested to come to South Africa. So we hope that as we assess our, our officials, especially the high commissioners and ambassadors, we'll be assessing them also in line with what they've, they've, they've signed as part of their performance agreement, economic uh, uh, recovery. Thank you very much, Chair. 